This video clip takes you through the generation of a heart. Um, so let's have a look how we created this art. So what I'm going to do is just make the initial feature active, which is a coordinate system. On the coordinate system, we sketched the cross section and extruded a basic shape of a heart, as shown here. This is based on a sketch, so let's edit the sketch. And here you can see that we have a spline, and the spline is a mirrored spline. Uh, so the edits we do to one side are reflected on the other. So we just changed a few of the point locations that define the spline. And we'll update the extrusion. We added a, a datum axis at the highest point that we want the, be, the, the heart to be inflated to. We added a couple of edge blends to take away sharp corners. And then what we did was created a variational sweep. The variational sweep itself is based on a conic. So let's have a look at the sketch that defines the conic. It's basically a rectangle and the, the conic is made perpendicular or tangent to two of the sides of the rectangle. The plane that the conic is sketched on is using uh, an on-path sketch and it's using the through axis option and picking the datum axis that we defined earlier for the high point of the heart. There's a dimension which controls the height of the rectangle which in turn inflates the conic. So changing that to 20 you can see that update the conic cross section change it back down to 15 updates the conic once again. Finishing off the sketch we can see the variational sweep update and then all we need to do is reflect uh, that shape so we get a two-sided heart and we do that by creating the datum plane location of our choice and then mirroring the, uh, the initial shape uh, we can hide the construction geometry, that's no longer needed. Uh, before finally joining the two halves of the heart together to form one solid body. Let's just hide the datum geometry. And there is our heart. Perfectly smooth in all directions. With, uh, with just one feature really generating the shape of the heart. Because of the nature of the way that this part has been built, we can go back in and change the cross section of the heart. And we're doing this by, once again, just uh, manipulating the, the point locations for the spline. Let's change the top. And then finish off the sketch. And there you can see the shape and profile of the heart has been updated.